You can put on your dancing shoes. Within the past few hours, New Jersey's governor announced plans to relax COVID restrictions across the state. And it comes just in time for prom season and wedding season. Indoor catered events will get bumped up to 50% capacity with a cap of 250 people. And dance floors will once again be open. This goes into effect May 10th. NBC10 South Jersey reporter Sydney Long is live in Camden County. Sydney, this is news that a lot of people were hoping to hear. Tell us more. Hey, Tracy, good afternoon. We definitely saw a lot of smiles today, so you are right. It is a sigh of relief, and especially for those bride and groom families with late spring, summer, even fall weddings. You can see the stage is set here outside, but no matter the event, wedding or prom, both outdoor and indoor events can increase their guest list and also perhaps increase the opportunity to have some fun. Sparkling stemware, fragrant flowers, and vases filled with water. This ballroom at Lucian's Manor in Berlin is being set for a wedding tonight. Less than 150 people on the guest list, but beginning in just two weeks. On May 10th, the room capacities for indoor catered events, and that includes wedding receptions, and yes, it includes school proms, will increase to 50% up to a maximum of 250 individuals. Governor Phil Murphy announcing today that indoor catered events will jump by 100 people. It's going to mean the world to us. I mean, you know, that's one of the big challenges we have right now is, you know, working with brides to cut down their lists. Additionally, New Jersey will allow dance floors to reopen, but social distance and masking must accompany your grooves and only at these private, closely supervised events. Dance floors, for instance, at bars and other businesses such as nightclubs will remain closed at this time as we know they are less controlled and more hospitable unfortunately for this virus. Still, it's music to the ears of South Jersey's larger venues like partner Chris Colavos at Lucian's Manor and the newly renovated mansion at Voorhees. The uncertainty, I think, is, you know, the biggest challenge. And, you know, it's tough to sleep at night knowing that you're putting deposits out and you're renting things and you're, you know, you're putting all this time, effort and work into something and you might be told that you can't do it. Also beginning May 10th, outdoor gatherings can increase to 500 people, up from 200. Murphy says restaurants can also begin to maximize their outdoor dining without limitation. We would hope to increase this yet again before Memorial Day, perhaps substantially. We moved our 2020 March, April, May dates into the summer. Then we moved them again into the fall and the winter. Yeah, guys, and so all of those weddings and those event, events are finally happening now. Again, these changes do go in, into effect two weeks from today, Monday, May 10th. This time last year, you remember proms, they were being canceled. Also, a number of the graduation ceremonies, they were happening virtually. So what will today's relaxed COVID restrictions mean for schools? We'll have that for you when we see you coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Voorhees, I'm Sydney Long, NBC10 News.